Hello everyone, I am Sham Pasari and welcome to ASIN Academy. So as you can see from the title of this video, in this video we will solve another question on the topic of geometry and this question has appeared in the BMAT Honours Admission Test 2009. Now the question is as follows, ABC is the right angle triangle with the right angle at B. If AB equals 7 and BC equals 24, then the length of the perpendicular from B to AC is. Now we have provided 4 options for this question, option A 12.2, option B 6.72, option C 7.2 and option D 3.36. So this was our question that appeared in the BMAT Ordnance Admission Test 2009 and I would like you to try this question first by yourself and then come to this video for the solution. I hope that you've tried the question and you've got the solution and if you didn't then let's check the solution. So according to a given question, we are given a right angle triangle ABC. So let's name the vertices as A, B and C respectively. Now it is given that the triangle is right angle at the vertex P. Now the length of the side AB is provided as 7 and that of BC is provided as 24. Now we can find the length of side AC by using the Pythagoras theorem that is 7 square plus 24 square is equal to AC square that implies AC is equal to under root of 625 that is nothing but 25. So we have got the length of the side AC as 25. Now according to our given question, we have to find the length of the perpendicular that is dropped from the point B to the side AC. Now if I consider this point as T, so we have to basically find the length of PD. Now we can solve this question by using two different methods. One is a longer method by using the properties of similarity and one is a shortcut and direct method. So let's first discuss the longer method. Now to solve this question by the similarity method, we have to first find the angles of this triangle. So if I take this angle is theta, then this angle becomes 90 minus theta because this angle is equal to 90 degree and sum of these two angles must be equal to 90. So if this is theta, then this becomes 90 minus theta. Now the triangle DBC, we have got angle B as theta because this complete angle B is equal to 90 degree. So we have got DBC as theta and angle DCB as 90 minus theta again by using the properties of triangle. If this is theta, then this is 90 minus theta and this angle is 90 degree. Now we have got all the angles for this triangle and now let's use the property of similarity. So we have to prove triangle ABD and triangle ABC are similar. Now we have got angle A is equal to angle B because it is equal to theta and we have got angle D is equal to angle B because both of them are 90 degree and we have got angle B is equal to angle C because they both are 90 minus theta. So we have got both these triangles similar by using the angle angle similarity or triple angle similarity. Now once two triangles are proven to be similar, then we can say that the sides corresponding to equal angles are in ratio. So we can say that AD by AB is equal to AB by AC, which is then equal to DB by BC. So we have to just put the length of the side and we will get our respective value. Now we have got AD as AD itself, AB is equal to 7, AB again is equal to 7, the length of the side AC is equal to 25. Now we have to find the length of TB, so we have got TB and the length of side BC is equal to 24. Now if we take this ratio, then we have got the length of the side TB as 7 into 24 whole divided by 25 and upon calculation this value will come as 6.72 and this is equal to option number B. So the length of the side BD is equal to option number B, 6.72 and now if we have got a solution by using the longer method and now let's check the shortcut method for solving this problem. So we have got a solution using the longer method and now let's discuss the shortcut method. Now by using the shortcut method, we can directly write the value of x that is the length of VD as 7 into 24 by 25 because according to the shortcut method, the length of this perpendicular is equal to the product of perpendicular and base of the original triangle divided by the hypotenuse of the original triangle. So this value will again come as 6.72. So in competitive exam or in any entrance exam, we should always use the shortcut method to directly find that answer. That was all for this video and I hope that you understood all the topics covered in this video. And if you have any doubt, then you can post your doubts down in the comment section 
or you can send your doubts to us to our channel's official Instagram or Facebook page and we will surely solve your doubt as soon as possible. Or you can go to the official website of ASN Academy and you can send your doubts to us from there and all the links are provided down in the description. And if you did like the video then please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel ASN Academy.